Well, hello everyone. It's me and me. It's been a while since I've built an app. Uh, entirely for Quest, I've very much been in the land of desktop VR and Lumen and Nanite and all that. But I really wanted to see what I could do with the Quest 3 XR Gen 2, uh, XR2 Gen 2 chipset. And so I thought I'd take it for a little bit of a spin and uh, see if I could turn on deferred rendering. Typically when you're doing VR, even in desktop, you would do forward, you know, all baked lighting. Um, but in this case, I decided to go deferred and do some mobile HDR and have some stationary lights changing color and intensity. And I thought I would uh, turn on some post-processing with mobile HDR so we get some bloom effects. And you'll also see that over here, we even have some outline effects, which normally would be tricky to do in a mobile scenario. What we're seeing, by the way, here is the Brockman Hall for Opera. Uh, this is a theater that my company had the good fortune to work on between 2015 and 2020. And so you see like the early SketchUp model here of what it used to look like in 2015. And then, you know, pretty much where we ended up uh, around the time of its completion. But yeah, from a graphic rendering perspective, very cool. We have some SVF files here. These are the Microsoft volumetric capture format. Um, this has not worked uh, since Unreal Engine 5.1. And then big shout out to my pal, Alex, the other Alex, who uh, kindly upgraded this plugin from 5.1 to 5.3 so we can get all this working. And yeah, these volumetric captures are playing back great. They look great. Um, I'm getting a good frame rate, by the way, if I go down here. So, you know, 72 about. Uh, we see about a 70 average. And here's a fun thing, too. So if I pull my left trigger, I can pause the volumetric captures, and you'll see that we get way up there, almost hitting uh, 120 frames per second. So you do see that the volumetric captures, understandably, and there are three of them here. It's these two guys, then me, then my pal Brandon Powers doing a cool dance. Um, those are definitely taking up, you know, a number of frames here. And once I turn that back on, you know, you'll see that frame rate drop a little bit. But it feels great. Like, this is remarkable to me that this is all running entirely within a uh, Quest 3. And, um, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll just show you, too, you know, the basic functionality in here in case anyone else is going to download it. Ooh, check out the lights and reflections on my hand. That's neat. Um, if you hold down the right trigger, so that will allow you to pick a seat to go to, and by default, you'll jump over to it and then kind of snap into the right position so, you know, you're seated and you're looking at the stage. And, of course, when I would design theaters with VR all the time, and I still do sometimes, we would do this kind of thing to lean and, you know, check out the sight lines and see how good of a view it is. And again, very cool to be able to uh, cycle back to the older version of the experience to kind of compare and contrast what changed and what stayed the same. So, you know, you can see some tiny things like the railing position, like changed a bit, some of the seat locations changed, the aisle shifted over. So from an architectural perspective, it's a, it's a cool project to review. Um, I will mention I did start to get some metahumans going in here, which looked pretty good. Um, I'm having a problem with getting them to cycle with these animations, and there's always a crash. So for now, we're just sticking with the volumetric captures. But that's what you see down here for the LOD levels. That's actually referencing the metahumans that um, I actually let you cycle through all the different uh, LOD scales because it's really interesting to compare and contrast both the frame rate and the quality of uh, what you get between metahuman LOD 0, uh, of course with hair cards, and then all the way down to LOD 8. Um, so yeah, I guess if anyone's going to try this out, I'm making this available for download. This is all done with the VR template, pretty out of the box, nothing crazy here. Um, I did originally build this for the Vive Focus 3 back in 2021 uh, for ViveCon, and so it actually only took me a night to port over all this into um, the MetaQuest 3 setup. I'm using some interface things to basically, you know, get all the, the stuff working the way I want. Um, so I'm actually using the same pointer here. This is the same one you get with the teleport function. Um, and I just basically did a thing to make it go straight instead of in an arc, which was not as straightforward as you would think, actually. Um, but let's go through the controls. So, okay, I'm going to start with the left hand. So the trigger pauses these guys. The lights still keep going, but pause, unpause, that's the trigger. Um, the left uh, is also, the left grip at the moment is also that. This was a metahuman thing, but trigger grip, do the same thing. Then we've got the, uh, the Y button in this side. And what this does is this makes it so, oh, I thought this was the thing that made it so I don't snap. Never mind, that's not the Y button. Let's try the X button. There we go, the X button. The X button makes it so that you don't snap 
uh, forward, you're just gonna go to the location and then, yeah, and then you'll still be looking in the same direction. Whoa, look at that bloom. That's a lot of bloom. And uh, that looks like a bit of a light bake error. It definitely should not be uh, that bright there. Now what's interesting is it doesn't look like that inside of Unreal Engine, but you know, I don't mind it at the moment just because I'm enjoying this really nice uh, bloom effect <laughs> inside a standalone device, which is, again, not something that was easy to do before. Okay, what else? We've got uh, the left joystick. If I click the left joystick, that's actually just gonna restart the whole experience. All right, right, there we are again. Okay, now onto the right hand. So on the right hand, let's start with the right trigger. Right trigger is how I point and, yeah, I can jump on stage if I want to. I wanna go up and be this guy. There we go. Yeah, and I can see from this view. Very nice. Uh, love these chandelier things up here. They're not chandeliers, but they're looking good. They were surprisingly high polygon. I remember spending <laughs> uh, too much time trying to uh, get the polygon count down there because it wasn't as automated as I would have liked. Uh, okay, we've got um, our, let's see, trigger. Again, that's pointing. Left grip. This does the uh, curtain. You can hear the music a little bit. So here we're gonna bring down the curtain. Come on, curtain. There it goes. Yeah. All right, yeah, real simple curtain, real simple animation there, just to block off the set design and see a little bit more of what the, uh, the light colors are doing there. Nice stationary lights. I can bring it back up if I want by pressing that right grip again. There that goes. Okay, and then we've got um, the right thumbstick. This is what would cycle uh, MetaHuman LODs. Uh, let's do the B button. The B button is how we cycle between the old version of the model and the new version. And then we've got our A button. And I think, yeah, so now the A button, that's what actually makes us snap directly to a seat. So yeah, so the, uh, the X button is what makes us go between whether or not we're gonna look forward. Oh, actually, you know what? <gasps> Sorry guys, I'm totally forgetting the controls I made here. Uh, is it the X button that did this? So this gets us into uh, teleport mode. And right now the teleport mode is also gonna go on top of the chairs. I haven't refined that yet, but you know, if you go down an aisle, you're gonna get kind of your standard teleport function. If you wanna kind of stay at human height and not fly around like a majestic bird, like I am. Wow, look how far out I just went. That was trippy. Okay, so yeah, I'm doing a very bad job of explaining the controls, but hopefully you'll, you'll bear with me here. Um, also, interesting artifact problem. Notice that uh, everything in the back here, the, the set design just got like totally uh, washed out. We're not getting any of the, uh, the stationary light changes back there again. I'm not sure why that is. Yeah, so the curtains all go down. I think, yeah, as soon as I trigger that curtain, suddenly like we're not getting as much uh, interesting light stuff in there. Anyway, just pointing things out as I see them. Okay, so what do we got? We've got our teleport function that was toggling that on and off. It's, uh, what toggled that? Okay, it's our, uh, that's our X button. So our X button, I guess at the moment does two things. It does the uh, whether or not we are going to look when we snap, and it's also gonna to toggle teleport. Interesting, okay. So yeah, maybe I'll mess with these controls a little bit. I'm just thinking now like, yeah, some of these aren't the most intuitive things in the world. But uh, anyways, that's that's kind of the main stuff. You know, I can get up on stage if I want. Um, start to fly around a little bit more. Oh boy, yeah, something there snaps me back to like zero, 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 zero. But hey, this isn't a paid app or anything. This is a tech demo, guys. Um, Anyway, I guess what's the takeaway? What did we learn today? We learned the Quest 3, the XR2 Gen 2, it's very powerful. Um, we learned that you can uh, repurpose this teleportation um, beam for your needs with a, a straight line, things like this, you know, popping up on the stage, looking at myself, yeah, looking good. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, mobile HDR, post-processing, um, those outline effects all look good. And I like it. That's it. That's the takeaway is I like it. It's cool to look at this old project that I haven't really looked at meaningfully since 2020 and to uh, get to see, you know, 
some fun stuff happening here. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. By the way, we call this a cow catcher. Fun theater fact of the day. That's a cow catcher. And if you have any questions about this, uh, feel free to ask, and I will put a link in the Dropbox below with the uh, latest build. Um, hopefully soon I'll get the MetaHuman stuff in here, and I probably will try to clean up some of the, the inputs a little bit because they are not the most intuitive thing in the world. Um, yeah, like if we want to we snap. Oh, there we go. No, it's, it's uh, just snapping me to the seat. Yeah, how did I, now I'm confused how I even did the thing before because now I can't snap forward because that's my, my shift to teleport. Anyways, why am I still talking? Alex, why are you still talking? You, why are you still listening to this? Uh, we're done, folks. We're done. Let's, uh, let's take one more nice look at the theater. I'll stand here on stage and, ah, and turn around and just say, oh, theater, theater design. It's so beautiful. The end. <laughs>